Hi, I'm Aaron Higgins from 1010 Music and I'd like to show you our new product and give you a brief idea of what we've done more recently. Toolbox is a sequencer function generator. It has four gate sequencers, four note sequencers, and four function generators. To get a little bit closer, this is what the gate sequencer looks like. By touching the screen, you can add and remove steps. Next, you've got a piano roll style uh, editor that can let you both record things and come in here and tweak things with the touchscreen. Lastly, the function generators have LFOs and sequence CV sequencers. Here's showing some of the LFO parameters. And lastly, this is what the sequencer looks like. You can just use your finger to drag in a shape and get exactly what you want. Of course, there's lots of additional parameters beyond this, but that's some of the basics. So let's hear how it sounds. In this screen, I can unmute the various sequencers, and now you begin to hear drum sounds that come from each of the gate sequencers, a kick, snare, uh, hi-hat pattern. I can also use this screen to unmute things for the synthesizer. So what you're hearing now is this pattern being played through our synthesizer. I'll show you a couple of the other steps, like I can change the duration, I can change the note length, and I can also, on the next page, do things like transposition. I can even take that a step further and use external modulators to control the transposition as a function of CV input. And you can even map that or quantize that into a scale to make sure that you're always getting something that makes sense musically. Can you also input MIDI via keyboard? Yes, you can input MIDI via the keyboard. Um, so simply coming up here and saying record allows you to uh, enter notes this way. Now they're a little bit easier to see if you come back over here. And you can also do a step entry style thing. So with just a few strokes, you can punch something in without regards to timing, which is really handy for ending up entering arpeggiator patterns or other things. So there's now two different series of modules in our line. Uh, series two is the first, Toolbox is the first series two module. It's got a different configuration than the rest of our modules. Let me briefly introduce our Series 1 modules, which are Bitbox, a 24-bit sampler, Synthbox, a 4 note polyphonic synthesizer, and Effectsbox, a 16 multi-effects unit. These three can share firmware. You can freely go to our website and, for no charge, download new firmware and convert a Bitbox into a Synthbox, for example, or vice versa. And that's true also with Effectsbox. So Toolbox will be the same concept also with new film firmware. We anticipate that Toolbox will have sister products over time, but at the moment there's only one. But right now, and our past has shown that we've done three different products on one platform, so we anticipate more of this because our customers love it and it really takes advantage of the flexibility of the, of the box to be able to do more than one thing. And uh, Toolbox is already available? So Toolbox is shipping now. It's available from a number of retailers, including in Germany, Schneidersladen, um, and some others that are soon to come online. And uh, the future? So the future, I think we've already alluded to uh, seeing more things on this platform, um, more software, you know, more depth, being able to have more control over your sequences. We've found that Touchscreens work very nicely in the Eurorack world. That that's, that's point. Touchscreens is something not the best. Or not. People don't love it, but some people love it. Some people love it. Some people don't care for it. But as long as some people love it, we feel like we've done some things right. Um, it's also become clear to us that it's very intuitive. It's very direct. It really helps. You know, people complain about menu diving, but with a good touchscreen design and the four knobs to go with it, you can get the number of layers down to just two or three, so it's really about as accessible as you would get uh, with discrete knobs, and much, much more compact. And of course, you also have the ability to switch it into something else. There's a lot of benefits. And for the MIDI, you see also the toolbox uh, breakout cables. Yes, if you take a look down here, you'll see that we use uh, a breakout cable that converts the five-pin MIDI DIN into three-pin TRS uh, MIDI, which is much more compact and it's compatible with Arturia and InMusic and some others. We also use a standard for connecting between our modules because especially for things like polyphonic data, uh, a MIDI cable really helps keep the number of wires down from you know, 12 or 15, depending on if you're doing velocity and 
other modulations, just down to one. So you can use also the sequence as, um, as a fix and as a sequence of our, our meters. Um, I think what you're asking, you can, yes, you can control external gear using MIDI. Okay. So a MIDI CC is called uh, effect parameters, or uh, parameters in modular sequencing uh, changes automation. Yes, so they can, I mean, at the moment, the modulators don't convey over MIDI, but it seems like a, a natural uh, evolution to have a function generator using a control generator or mod wheel or something like that, because that's, you know, again, a digital thing that affects all channels at once. So we anticipate doing that over time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, Synth Anatomy. Thanks for the coverage.